Macau and uh, Dr. Odudu Barbara Magoha. Uh, may I request that uh, you make your way up here for your final tribute. Good afternoon, everybody. Today, a vision of 1980 has finally come true. It is a vision about my two parents, my father's two friends, and my father-in-law. And this is what took place. My husband, George Magoha, came to Nigeria in 1972. I had a scholarship the same year before finishing O-level to study medicine. My father disapproved of me applying for that scholarship. He told me I was blocking the poor. A few years, a few months after, my father passed on in 1973. I had to get that scholarship guaranteed by his friend. That's the number one friend he had. When my mom went there, the man said, I needed to see your daughter before I can guarantee the scholarship. When we went there with my mom, he took a look at me and said, and gave my mom a dressing down of the century. He said, this one will never come back to this country. Why do you want the government to imprison me? My mom went to the office crying, and a junior officer guaranteed. And he said, by the time she finishes, I would have retired or been dead, so they can't get me to repay this money. I never knew why I never traveled out of the country, because it was a full scholarship up to this day. Everybody knows that my husband was supposed to go to Zambia to do medicine, but at the last minute, he came to Lagos. We met, and after one month, as I said, he started telling people we are getting married. We settled that. Then I went to my mom and said, this is the man, the man I want to marry. And my mom said, you give me some time. I'll talk to you. What happened was that my mom went and stayed fasting and praying for three days. And she said she was never going to leave the 